water, water everywhere and not a drop to drink, or so you might think. One of the big draws to Ventura is the amazing weather. But with that, our clients tend to ask, what about when there's a drought? And is the water safe to drink? With droughts, agriculture, and climate shifts, it's a fair question to ask. Today, I'm going to break it all down for you and share how Ventura is planning ahead. Unlike most cities in California, Ventura is not connected to the state water project. That's right, we don't rely on water from Northern California. Instead, we rely on Ventura River, local grand wells, and to a smaller extent, Lake Casitas. It's all local, which makes us resilient, but also vulnerable during droughts. The city of Ventura is one of the very few cities that we still rely on local groundwater. We are not to the state water um, pipeline. We, we rely on the river. We rely on wells. And so if we have yet another drought, another incident that prevents us from accessing our natural water resources, we will be in trouble. So Ventura Water Pure is one of the solutions that our staff have been working on for many years already. Ventura is making something really big, and it's called Ventura Water Pure. This is an advanced new water treatment facility that takes treated wastewater and turns it into safe, drinkable water. Yes, it's jokingly called toilet to tap, but the process is completely safe. And it's used around the world. <laughs> it removes everything bad from the water, but keeps everything good, and makes it so that Ventura has a lot more drinking water. Deputy Mayor Doug Halter put it best when he said, With the type of growth we've seen, with the severe droughts that we witnessed, where we know the future is going to be longer, drier periods with uh, short, wet periods, uh, we have to do better in making sure that we can continue to prosper and grow in the West. And this is one way we can guarantee 20 to 25 percent of our water forever. Ventura has already secured $90 million in federal funding to make sure this project happens. And according to the mayor, it has been nationally recognized as a model for climate adaption. Is being seen as a leader in um, changing and adapting to uh, the changes in our climate. Ventura is doing more than just big infrastructure. They've rolled out rebates for turf removal, smart irrigation systems, and education on water-wise gardening. And we can't leave out the recycled water program in the parks and medians. You might even spot a purple pipe around the city. That's non-potable water, meaning don't drink it, used to irrigate our parks and our medians to keep it beautiful, but not waste the drinkable water. Those are some of the things that Ventura has done in order to help when the next mega drought is bound to happen. While Ventura Water Pure does not replace the river and the wells, it does add a reliable water source to be used even in the driest of years. And that's key for a city that wants to grow and remain sustainable. Because Ventura, even though it's known as a beach city, is also an agricultural city, people sometimes ask, is it safe to drink the water? Or is it contaminated from the farm runoff? Great question. Like every city, Ventura is also held to the same standards as everywhere else in the country. It's monitored and regulated by the State Water Recess Control Board, which means that Ventura tests for things like pesticides, bacteria, or any other kind of contaminants. And it either meets or exceeds all state and federal standards. So yes, Ventura water is safe to drink, but like any place that relies heavily on well source water, you're going to have some heavy minerals, which means when you're making your tea or your coffee, there's going to be a residue left in your coffee pot. It's easy to clean. You just put a little bit of white vinegar in and swish it around and it's gone. It also means if you have a glass enclosure for your shower, it is tricky and tough to keep that clean. And because of those heavy minerals, it tends to really wear on your appliances. So it is highly recommended that you get a water softener in your house. And almost every house in Ventura has a water softener. So is the water safe? Yes. Is it reliable? Well, we're getting there. The city is tackling it from both ends, conservation and innovation. And if you ask city leaders, which we have, they'll tell you it's about long-term survival in a changing climate and that it's worth every penny of investment to make sure that Ventura is taken care of. Bring us in the future stability, security, ensuring that we can, we can have a reliable source of water in the long run. 
If you want to learn more about water rebates or the water report, we put some links down below. And if you're thinking about moving to Ventura or anywhere in Ventura County, there are surrounding areas, then remember that Bard and I, Kazaya, aren't just local realtors. We are your relocation specialists. We are here to answer all of your questions. So feel free to give us a call, shoot us over a text, send us an email. We would love to help you find your perfect home.